So there is another thing that has to be done on this machine. But first of all, I want to show you something that I did. Uh, I want to make, uh, it's a service, it's not a modification and it's not a repair, it's a service, it's something that uh, has to be done just uh, as a precaution. And what is this? First of all, here I have put a distance because I have separated the upper and the lower chassis. Uh, there is another video where I explain exactly how to do it with these screws. This time I did read the manual, so I uh, loosened this to be so that these are not st stressed and not snapped. And here I made a small uh, mechanism where I just, uh, as, as I push uh, this nut upwards, the chassis is controllably separated. And I did this on the other side here. Just wanted to show you that you can do something like that. You can see it from here. So you can controllably, controllably separate the two chassis, upper and lower. So what do we have to do? There are three capacitors here, 0 0.1 farads, one, two, three. These three are spark suppression uh, capacitors. And uh, people say that they often uh, produce uh, problems because they short and when they short, something is burned. I do have uh, replacements, modern replacements for this, and I will replace them now. So note for, uh, note for these capacitors that they must be AC oriented and uh, have uh, this X2 mark on them. Uh, th this is a safety feature that they can uh, withstand uh, high surges of uh, voltage and and this is what their job is and on, on the machine here here on the machine this is what they do the original ones from the 60s but these ones are modern and much better ones i don't say that you buy the same uh, brand or whatever i don't even know what this brand is but these are the equivalent of uh, the notorious RIFA capacitors of the A77. Uh, so be sure to get this X2 mark on them. So let me show you something that first uh, made me nervous a little bit before I search it. You see that my new capacitor have a rating of uh, 310 volts. The old capacitors of the machine here have a rating of uh, 630 and up to 1260 volts, which I don't know what this means. And I was like, uh, should I put a lower rating voltage than uh, the old ones? So the answer is, as I searched it, that these capacitors were not uh, X2 configuration. That means that this, this is the maximum voltage they can accept, the pulse voltage, a, a peak pulse. The X, the X2 rating refers to a peak pulse of 2500 volts. So 310 is the nominal voltage. But the peak voltage for this, according to the X2 configuration, if this is followed on these uh, capacitors, and it's not fake, of course, it's way above the ones showed on the old capacitors. So this is solved and I'm not afraid anymore. So, as always, I will uh, first uh, try and take a very good reference of uh, where everything is. For example, 
this is con this capacitor here is connected up there where that blue cable is let me see exactly and the other side the other side is there I I will stop the phone or maybe uh, first on the on the just second lead there so blue cable and from the top one two three from the top one two three from the top and second there I will now stop this video to cut this out I prefer to cut the leads of the, the legs of these capacitors instead of unsoldering them so that I can use the old uh, legs and solder maybe on these. Okay, now I think we can see much better what is going on. So I will cut this. This is out. And I will cut the other one here. And this is also out. Okay, let's go to the second one. So let's get on to the second capacitor here, which is soldered here on the second on the second lead in there. And the other side here is soldered just near the first one. You see that okay it's always so difficult to do everything with having also the camera in front of you so this is cut and this is the other side also cut and the capacitor is out. Okay, that here is the cut lead of the first one, right here. And the other one is soldered right behind it, there. So let's go and cut it. Okay, now I will do the same with the third capacitor, but I have to go really close so that I can see what I'm doing. Not cut. Cut. I see some other small capacitors there. Or are they fuses? I don't know what are these. C two hundred. Whatever they are, I have not seen that uh, I have not uh, seen references that they should be also changed. So I will keep those. Well, uh, I'm sorry, but it was too difficult for me to solder the first capacitor here and do it on camera, but. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the first one soldered. I, I don't really remember what exactly I did. It wasn't easy. I didn't have too much room. I think I, I bent like that the odd leg to the outside, soldered the capacitor here, and then bent it back. And there was a little bit more room, I think, on this side. 
So generally it's not easy to, because even if I put a camera here at the front, I would have to be in front of the camera to do everything, so it wouldn't uh, help. Well, I guess I can show the soldering on the outer one. I did put some solder here and I did put some solder there. And I'm just uh, holding them together. And that's it. And then on the other side there. I will bend the legs here so that they are aligned. And uh, when they touch, just like that. When I see that they touch and they remain touched, they don't want to remain touched, so I will just put some solder on my iron and just desolder them. So that was the end, all three capacitors, or all three spark suppression capacitors replaced, soldering iron stopped, and let's look at it closely and see. And you see all three of them. Yeah. There, there. One, two, three. It's much more uh, roomy. Here we have much more room. And now it's time to check the functions and see if they work properly. So with uh, all the capacitors replaced, we can check uh, if functions are working. The problem is that we ha I have to keep this end of tape uh, pressed. Um, I will put the phone... Uh, so here we are. End of tape held. The wing works, fast forward works, playback works, record also works, but I wouldn't think it wouldn't work. End of tape also works. So everything is working. Successful. Uh, not a repair. Successful upgrade for precaution. Bye bye.